What was once a retail titan is taking a massive hit now. Sears is planning to close 72 locations nationwide as it struggles to survive in this online economy. For so many of us as kids, your eyes just lit up when, you know, the Sears catalog would show up in the mail. Gosh, the good old days, right? <laughs> well, now with pressure from Amazon and other online retailers, Sears is shutting the doors on 72 stores nationwide, and two of them are here in Metro Detroit. Of the seven Sears locations across Metro Detroit, two of them are going to close. The location in Sterling Heights at Lakeside Mall and the Michigan Avenue store in Dearborn are both on the list. Business editor Rod Maloney shows us why something like this was coming, but it's still a tough pill to swallow. We know that retailers as a whole are having a hard time coping with the changing world, the Internet, Amazon. But then there are two retailers that really have taken it on the chin. Sister companies Sears and Kmart. Okay. Sears customer Jim Bauscher of Warren came to buy a dehumidifier today. Now, when was the last time you'd been to a Sears? Now, that's a good question. A year. That's a better answer for Sears than most of us would give. Jim remembers when Sears was American retailing. I thought they had something going for them with the catalogs and that sort of thing. That's a distant memory. They called the Sears catalog the wish book back then. For many, it was the shopping Bible. At one time, you could even buy a new home from it. At one time, Sears had 4,000 stores, was so profitable, it built the world's tallest building in Chicago. But when hedge fund owner Edward Lampert took over, fortune soured especially after he brought Kmart into the company. Retail analyst Ed Nackpour reminds us. Retailers don't survive on memories. You need people walking through the doors. And what's unfortunate, there's not a real value proposition for customers. When Sears was on top, it signed 99-year leases for a lot of its stores, and some still have 50 years to go. Jim's wife is now a former Sears customer. And I think she buys... 90% of what she wants on Amazon Prime. So no more Sears? No. And NAC4 believes Sears is inevitably doomed. I'm surprised that it's treading water as long as it has. To Ed's point, the company was last profitable in 2011. We should also point out that 15 of the stores they closed today were Kmart's, none of those in the state of Michigan. The company's trying everything it can to hang on, including selling some of its services, including tire installation through Amazon, but that's likely not going to be enough. They're finding them selling things off like the Craftsman brand and also selling off the land that many of the stores that, uh, that sit on right now, they're selling all of that land and taking that profit, putting back into the company that is losing vast sums of money. Back to you. Well, you know, it makes you think, Rod, does the trouble for Sears mean all of retail is in trouble? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, Ed Nackfor was very careful to point out that you cannot look at the Sears Kmart problem and uh, extrapolate that to the entire rest of the industry. He says there are many good opportunities for retailers and even the malls that a lot of the retailers are in as things change. So, no, we're not going to see retail as we know it go away, but the weaker ones will definitely disappear. That is true. We are seeing that firsthand. Thank you, Rod.